Well, no direct impacts, but again, the kicked up surf, the rough surf, the beach erosion that has been very minor along the Outer Banks, and certainly that threat of rip currents. Those are the main issues that we'll be dealing with with Chris as it continues to spin here. Here's that high resolution satellite, and you can see it's becoming a little more concentric. We're also starting to see what almost looks like an eye trying to form around the center. Hurricane Hunter aircraft have been in there investigating it. They did find those winds up to 70 miles per hour, and that's the latest advisory coming in from the Hurricane Center at 5 o'clock 70 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 85 it takes 74 to be a hurricane so we're very close to talking about tropical storm or hurricane chris which will likely happen later tonight or early tomorrow morning still stationary 215 miles south southeast of cape hatters will linger there for another day or so and then by wednesday a cold front will finally come in and kick this thing out into the north atlantic it'll sort of interact with it and be picked up and carried off areas east of uh, Nova Scotia and then eventually up into northern parts of the Atlantic into the colder waters where it will eventually weaken. But for us, the next couple of days, clear skies, most spots, some outer bank showers later tonight and tomorrow. Rough surf and rip current risk continues and that cold front will finally push Chris out the sea on Wednesday. It will also give us a chance for a few afternoon or evening showers or thunderstorms.